Yes, in reality, Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's story, Carnival of Death.
famous crimes. And besides, that old guy sitting in the front of the place is enough to keep you out. <laughs> Who is he? Uh, that's the watchman, old Pop Wright. He should be one of the wax exhibits himself. Oh, what's wrong with him? Well, he's a... Uh... Uh, forget I said anything. If you, if you want to go in there, suit yourself. Well, all save right, it folks, for later on. Come on, Margo. <laughs> come on, what am I going to do with all these dolls? You can start a collection. <laughs> Who knows, you might... Excuse me, sir. Wouldn't you like to take the lady inside and show her the beautiful lifelike statue? It's a very intriguing exhibit. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, come on, come on, let's go in. You're passing up the best show on the island. You're very foolish not to go in. Oh, Lamont, well, why didn't you take me in there? Oh, there are a lot of other things to see, Margaret. I know, but I would have enjoyed the museum. It sounds very impressive. I think the little lady is right. She'd be very impressed. It is you're the most persistent barker I've ever seen. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not a barker. I'm just the watchman. Now, you come with me, and I myself will personally conduct you through the rooms, huh? And the mayor. It is the finest show on the grounds. Two tickets, What? Oh, two tickets? Yes, sir. Right away. Forty cents, please. Here you are. Now, if you'll just follow me. Right through this door. Now, here we are. Now, we start at this end of the room first. These wax tableau represent famous death scenes in history. This one, this one is Marat's bathtub murder scene. Excellent, isn't it? No. Oh, yes. Yes, it's excellent. Now, now this scene... Wait, I'll pull back the curtain. This scene is the kidnapping of the twin crown princes of France. Note the lifelike appearance of the figures. Remarkable, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Where are these figures made, Lamont? I don't know. Uh, can you tell us, Mr... Margo? He's gone. What? Why, yes. Where did he go? I don't know. Uh, let's have a quick look at this one exhibit and leave, huh? Yeah, the faster the better. Say, what is this tableau supposed to be? I, uh... I believe it's the death of Marie Antoinette on the guillotine. These figures look even more lifelike than the others, don't you think? Yes. Yeah. Look, see how naturally the execution is cloak draped around this. <gasps> Lamont, what happened? The blade of the guillotine fell. Lamont, look. Blood. Huh? Blood trickling down. Now let's have a closer look at this figure. Oh, Lamont. It's, it's that girl we saw on the boat in the streets of Venice. So it is. Wait. I'll take the mask off this figure of the executioner. There. Oh, it's the boy. The boy who was with her. He's dead, too. Come on, Margot. We'll find old Pop Wright. See what he knows about this. It's the one, the original Wax Museum of Art. Uh, listen, Ladies Mr. and gentlemen, uh, there are two people who've just been killed in one of your exhibits. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I'm now. telling you the truth. Go in and see for yourself. That's what they all say when they see our show, brother. Step right up, folks. Uh, see listen, the life uh, where's that old man, the one they call Pop Wright? I don't know who you mean, brother. Step up, folks. And well, come on, Margo. I'll see what I can find out from the shooting gallery man. He told us himself he'd stay there at night. Of course he did. Uh, listen, uh... Oh, are uh, you back again, bud? Look, uh... Who is that old man you pointed out to us, and why did you warn us against him? What old man? The one you call Pop Wright. Who's Pop Wright? Oh, Lamont, you're not going to get any satisfaction here. Have you got any questions to ask? There's John Norcross, the owner of this park. He'll answer them for you. Oh, Mr. Norcross. Oh, yes? Yes, what is it? Mr. Norcross, I've just come from the Wax Museum. Two people have just been murdered in there. What? Th that's the truth. Come quickly, I'll show you. Did you notify the man on the door? Yes, and he paid no attention to me. Where are the bodies? In one of the tabloids. Remember, a man of the whole. 
hold their jobs regardless of what happens. Yes. Right, goodbye. <laughs> what was that? Who laughed? It was I, John Norcross. Well, who? Who are you? I don't see anyone. I am called the Shadow. Well, where are you? I hear you, but I can't see you. That's because I've clouded your mind and made myself invisible to your eyes. Well, what? What are you doing here? I've come to ask you some questions, Mr. Norcross. What about? In your phone conversation, what did you mean by the men must hold their jobs regardless of what happens? Why, I... I... That's none of your business. Did it have anything to do with the death of that young man and woman in the wax museum today? What are you talking about? You do know of those deaths, don't you? No, no. Nothing like that has happened here in the park. We have a clean record here. Really? Aren't you forgetting the branch line of the subway that you built that caused so many deaths? Well, that's different. That was an accident. An accident that happened many years ago. I'm doing my best to make amends for that. How? I... I'd rather not say. Does your plan for making amends, John Norcross, include vengeance? No. No. Mr. Norcross, you'll hear from me again very soon. Meantime, I must warn you, every move you make will be closely watched by the shadow. Well, I'm mighty glad Commissioner Weston sent you along with us, Detective. Well, now, think nothing of it. Now, now, this here is the place where you last saw them young folks alive. Is that right? Yes, Mr. Evans. I see. Their boat was floating in front of this replica of the Venetian Palace. Uh, let's tie up here. All right. And this is just about where we heard the moan, too. Is it? What moan? Well, we heard a strange crying noise just before we bumped into the young couple's boat. You mean there's, there's ghosts mixed up in this, too? Oh, I hardly think so. Boy, am I the one for getting screwy assignments. Moan. Kids disappear. They turn up as corpses in a wax museum. And they disappear again. Well, that's part of a detective's life, isn't it? That's the seamy side, miss. Me, I like details like special duty at the ballpark. Particular if there's a double header on. Well, we've got a little double header of our own right here. Now, let's see if there's an opening in any of these phony palaces. Uh, help me feel along these walls, will you, Evan? Sure, sure. <laughs> Wait till I go home tonight and the missus says, What have you been doing all day, Evan? And I say, honey, I was riding through the Venetian tunnels of love. <laughs> Boy, for this I joined the force. <laughs> yes. Ah. Oh, no, what's this? Find something, Lamont? I believe these window shutters open. Ah. Yes. Uh, there seems to be a passageway here. Say, maybe you found something. Come on, let me help you out of the boat, Margot. All right. Are you going to explore the passageway? Yes. Have you your flashlight, Evan? Uh, yes, sir. Right. Uh, you take this one, Margot. All right, sir. All right. Let's go now. Oh, it's awfully dark in here. wonder where this leads to. Well, there's a turn just ahead. We'll soon find out. <laughs> we'll probably come to the end of it and find a guy who'll collect a quarter for us leaving the boat. Now look. Look ahead there. What? Why, it's a large tunnel. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, we've stumbled on the old deserted subway spur. Yes, yes, look. They're tracks, subway tracks. Let's see. Hey, this is the old subway tunnel at that. Oh, it's so damp in here. Water dripping from the walls and... It's a scary place, Lamont. And that's only because it's been closed up so long. Do you, do you suppose we'll see that ghost train the guard told us about? Now, look, lady, please. I'm a superstitious man. In a place like this, I would rather you didn't mention ghosts. And let's go about finding where this thing leads. Uh, you go in that direction, Evan. We'll search down this way. Okay. But if you find anything, yes. And loud. Right. Come along, Margo. Lamont. Do you suppose the young couple found this passageway and, and were killed here? I don't imagine they came in here voluntarily, but they could have been brought in here. By whom? I don't know. Where are you going? Oh. Where are you going? Lamont, did you hear that? Was that Evans? I don't think so. I'll find out. Evans! Voice coming from Lamont. I can't figure it out. Evan! Evan! Are you all right? Yeah, sure. Evan! What happened? Come on, Margo. Evan! Evan! Oh, he doesn't answer. Lamont, what's that? Why, it sounds like. Margo! Get against this wall quickly! The subway train! The ghost train, Lamont. 
the skirt, Margo. We'll follow the lights. See where it went. Come on, did you notice? The lights were on in that train, and there were passengers at all the windows. Yes, I saw them. Margo, the train had... It's it disappeared. There's no trace of it. What do we do? There's no point of looking for Evans. He may have gone back through the passageway. Come on, we'll go up above to the park. That's something I must learn at once. Now look here, bud. It's bad business for me to answer questions around this place. But you can tell me this much. You do know the old man who was the watchman at the wax museum, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I know, Pop, right? What connection has he with John Norco? Hey, please, bud. This joint has ears everywhere. If you want to ask questions, pick up one of the guns and start firing at the target. I'll tell you what I know. But you keep the gun going. And keep laughing like it's jokes, I'm telling you, see? Yeah, sure. Let me have a gun. Here you are. Well, now, let's see what kind of a marksman you are, bud. Okay. No, Carlos, don't like talking, so I gotta do it this way. You asked about the connection between him and old Pop Wright. Well, Norcross has given up life jobs to certain surviving members of the families who were killed in a subway wreck ten years ago. Laugh it up, will you? Hmm? Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> ah, try it again, bud. That way, Norcross got out of making big cash settlements on any personal claims, see? Well, nice work, mister. Now let's see, see you pick off them six flying geese in one volley. <laughs> sure, I'll try those flying geese. I know a lot of funny things happen around here lately. Things I don't like. I've been trying to get out of this job, but no cross says I've got to stick it out. Hey, take a crack at them clay pipes, bud. <laughs> okay. Look, I'd better wait till you can get away from here. You can finish telling me your story then. Well, I guess I've about cleaned you out of doll. Uh, I said you've lost a bit of chinaware, my friend. Hello, what's happened? Well, I don't know. Here, let me see. Why did he fall to the ground? This man is dead, Marco. A bullet hole in his back. That means the shot came from the direction of the wax museum. Commissioner Weston and his men made a thorough search of the wax museum, Marco, and they found nothing. That's why I decided to come back here to the tunnel. This is where the murderer will be found. I know it. Did they find any trace of Detective Evans? No. He must still be down here someplace. Listen. Hear that, Margo? Yes. Let's follow the sound of that laugh. This isn't my idea of good fun, Lamar. <laughs> that laugh is coming from this end of the tunnel. The section that was explored by Detective Evans. Who do you suppose that is? And we'll soon find out. Oh, look. Over there by the wall. Evans' hat. Oh, Lamar, something's happened to him. Yes, obviously. I'll get the hat. Yes, Margo! What is it? I stepped into some kind of quicksand. I'm thinking it's... Oh, the... Lamar, wait a minute. I'll help him. No, keep away, Margo. I'm afraid she must join your friend in the quicksand. Oh, no. 
No, you're mad. You're mad. Oh, I wish. I wish you wouldn't say those things in front of my friends. You see, Lewis, this wax figure here, he, he doesn't like it at all. Do you, Lewis? Give me your tie is crooked again, Lewis. I have to fix it. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Oh, no, no, please. No, let's go. No, no you're... I'm just staying here for a long time. A very long time. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to me? That knife. Put down that knife. No, now, now, it'll all be over in a short time. Just stand no. there. No. Just stand no, there. No, get away. No, soon you will. No. <laughs> Put down that knife, Pop right. Oh, the shadow. How was that? Don't touch that girl. Oh, one of the spirits. One of the spirits has returned to speak to me. Yes. Yes, that's true. I am one of the spirits. The spirit of the man you just killed in the shooting gallery. Oh, it's you, Fred. I, I'm sorry I had to do that to you. But you'd learn too much about me and this rendezvous. Why have you killed these people? Why have you brought them to this deserted tunnel? I belong down here. You know that, Fred. I've been the motorman on this line since the first run. You remember that run, don't you? Yes, yes. Yes, you know, too, that my wife and child were killed on that first ride. Killed on a train that I was driving. Of course. John Norcross put me on a pension. He thought that would make up for the loss of my wife and child. He made me a watchman. Mm. <laughs> yes. Thought he'd pay me off that way. But I fooled him. I fooled him. Why have you killed these people? I needed passengers. You can't run a train without passengers, can you? That's my job here, you know. John Norcross doesn't know it, but his subway line still operates. Yes. How did you get these people here? Oh, different ways, different ways. Some of them from the boat ride, some from the wax museum. They all take the nightly ride with me in the Midnight Express. Those rides are all finished now, Pop Wright. No. No, that is true. I'll tell the police about them. They'll come and get you. Oh, no, you Put wouldn't you do away. that. No. No. No, who would run the line? You you don't mean that, I'm sure. I'm taking you to the police right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's no. running out of the car. Come back. No. Come back here. Come and get me. Look, he's opening a door in the wall. That's where the quicksand is. He's jumping into it. <laughs> Mom, thank heaven you escaped from that quicksand. But how in the world did you do it? That plank you told me did the job, Margot. Well, believe me, that plank goes in my political platform. <laughs> what about Mr. Norcross? Oh, he was cleared of all charges in the case, Margot. Pop Wright was working alone. You know, he must have been insane since the day of the train wreck. Yes. I suppose he was harmless at first. Then, as he brooded over his loss, he turned to murder. Well, we certainly ran into something. <laughs> should say. You know, there's just one more thing I'd like to know. What's that, Margo? Why do they call that place an amusement park? <laughs> the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs> 